Santa Fe, New Mexico. Just tough to hear. Well, we are covering Colorado's first Colorado's weather right now for you. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera with the weekend forecast. And here goes the temperature dropping as the sun goes down. Yeah, we're starting <laughs> to cool down. You can see it there or it's over here. I guess 60, 63 degrees now. We've been cloudy all day long, but what we're seeing now here at the end of the day is a little verga popping out of the bottom of these clouds. That's rain evaporating before it hits the ground. As we go through the night, some of those raindrops will make it to the ground. We'll get a few showers going through. It's also kicking up a little gusty wind from time to time right along the front range. There you see it on the satellite here. Most of the moisture is still back here out west. You can see the rain starting to pick up in western Colorado. Already way up high, there's a little mountain snow starting to develop, but most of that's up above 11,000 feet. As we go into the evening, it should drop down to some of the lower elevations, and we'll see some uh, rain kicking up. Here's where the front is, and there's a low in southern Utah. Once that swings through, that's when we'll see more moisture overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So let's uh, take you hour by hour through this as we go through the evening a couple of showers might start to pop up here across northeastern Colorado they'll be very light tonight and then the snow starts to ramp up in the mountains we told you earlier about one to four inches of snow on average in some of the uh, northern central mountains here but some of the northwest and west facing slopes could get like a four to eight inch snowfall by noon tomorrow and in fact after the lunch hour tomorrow we start to clear out to, and uh, and start to warm up a little bit although tomorrow will be a cooler day behind the front. Let's go back to the uh, satellite and radar here, and I wanted to show you what's coming our way. There's a big trough of low pressure from the, the uh, Gulf of Alaska here all the way down to just off the coast of California here. It's creating what we call an atmospheric river, if you will, moisture along the jet stream that uh, will last for several days here, and embedded in that flow, there's a little disturbance, a little cold, little cold front and a low pressure area that's going to slam into California and the west coast tonight into tomorrow. In fact, San Francisco up to northern California could see two Two to five inches of rain by the end of the day tomorrow. And some of the Sierra Nevadas here could see two to three feet of snow by the time we get to Monday out of that river of moisture that's blasting through. They need the moisture, but they're going to have some flooding problems for sure out there and some power lines down, that type of thing. So here we go as we take you through. The front comes through uh, overnight tonight into tomorrow. Quick ridge builds in. That's why we're clearing out so quickly tomorrow afternoon. And then that storm starts to blast out west. And by the time we get it to two, Tuesday, a little piece of energy and the trough breaks off and that's when we see snow in our mountains, probably a bigger snow than we're expecting this weekend and a little better chance of picking up some rain for Denver Tuesday night into Wednesday by then as well. Low temps tonight, 20s, 30s mountains will be in the 40s down low and highs tomorrow a little cooler behind the front. 60s and 70s to the east with 50s and 60s primarily for the mountains and the western slopes. So a few showers developing as we go through the night tonight will be about 40 for the overnight low tomorrow mid 60s. That's about where we should be morning showers, a little morning rain and then afternoon clearing and then looking ahead. Monday is going to be a nice day actually a little windy but 72 70 on Tuesday and then Tuesday night into Wednesday that next system rolls through. I think Tuesday night into Wednesday morning good chance of getting some soakers going on here mm -hmm. and then we break out of it into the 60s on Wednesday and Thursday. So that storm that's going to hit California, I think you're going to see a lot of headlines out there. Floods, flash floods, snow problems, and that type of thing. Nice. We're going to tap into a little of that moisture on Tuesday. All right. Well, thanks for keeping an eye on it for you us. Betcha. And speaking of storms, a well-known well -known storm chasing group in Boulder.